Ooh. All right, you guys, welcome back. I know it has been a few months, but um, today we're back with a, a really cool video, I think. Welcome to all six of you guys, I think. Let's check here. Nomads, Nomads channel. Yep, there's six of you guys. Awesome. That's a good start. That's a good start. I went out and took some photos this morning and I came up with this. It's on the screen. In a minute here, we'll jump onto Adobe Photoshop and then we'll head over to Lightroom after that. And I'll show you guys how to merge those and then edit it to make it look really cool and perfect for your Instagram. So let's get right into it. Let's uh, hop into Photoshop and then we'll move over to Lightroom after that. Alrighty, so we're in Photoshop now. Here's the first image. It's just a, an image on my phone with the background. I took this, I think around F20 so I could get not too much bokeh in the background but I, it ended up being pretty pretty uh, blurry back there. That's okay. Here's the second image. It's just, uh, this one's a little better actually. I think this was also around F20. So, how to do this is, first of all, we're gonna start off by duplicating the background. Duplicate layer. And we'll just do that. Okay, so now you're gonna want to zoom in a little bit. Get your phone screen nice and big, and you're gonna want to find you're gonna want to find the pen tool. Where is it? Right here. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mask out the screen so we can put the other image behind it. So we'll start off by going. Let's zoom in a little more. Right in the corner. We'll put this up here. Okay, so now that you have your, your, uh, your pen tool all done, you've got the screen covered, you're gonna wanna right click before you do anything else. You're going to go make a selection and we'll bring this over here. And you're gonna want to make your feather radius one. Otherwise, it'll be too crisp and it won't look that real. So that just gives it that extra realistic look. Okay, and now you're gonna go select Inverse, and that'll just inverse the selection so it selects everything else other than your screen. Or it selects your screen, whatever. And then after that, you're gonna click this button right here, which looks like a hole in a piece of paper, I don't know. It's a layer mask, so you're gonna click that. And what's that? what that has done is it, if you remove the background, it's just created a, a see-through hole, a see-through square in your phone screen, so that's where the background's gonna go. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the other image, you're gonna click on that button and you're gonna grab this and just drag it over here. X that out, we don't need it anymore. Okay, let's get that nice and even. Okay, so now what you can do is you can bring the opacity down a little bit, just so you can kind of see through it. And that's because you wanna be able to see where you're gonna bring this down. You're just gonna get this nice and small the size of your phone screen. Oh, bring it back up. Come on. There we go. Get that over here. Okay, just like that. Click the tick mark. And then bring the opacity back up. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag this layer and bring it beneath the background copy and voila, you're done. That's how easy it is, that's all it is. So that's looking pretty good to me. Let's see. Yeah, that looks really good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this as a file, Photoshop file. We can save this over here. Save this here. We can call it, I don't know, phone screen. And now we're gonna pull up Lightroom. Okay. And we're gonna import that file that we just saved. Import. That load. Go to where you saved it. I saved it here. So now you've found that photo. We're just gonna chuck a little edit on it. So let's get right into this. First of all, I already added a little bit of, ex of exposure. Let's keep it around there. 
we can add a little bit of contrast. Plus seven will work. Highlights. What I usually do is I click Alt when I do the highlights. And I just find where the, you see that white stuff in the top corner? You want your highlights to be just where that starts to come in. So right there would be too low. Right about there is fine. Same thing for the shadows. Bring it down until just some of the, the shadows come on in. Maybe around, around there. And then the whites, we can pump those. We can boost those up a little bit just to compensate for the low highlights. And the blacks, we can leave them how they are. Actually, I'm gonna bring the shadows up a little bit more. That'll do. We're gonna bring it down to the tone curve. This, this little square box, it's kind of like the scariest thing in Lightroom. But uh, how it works is down here is your shadows, up here is your highlights, and then these are your midtones. And so to get that Instagram look, we're actually gonna bring up the, the shadows just a bit to get that kind of faded look. And then we're gonna drop the shadows down a tad. And for the highlights, we'll bring those up a bit too. Maybe around there. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Okay, now down to the HSL color tab. We're gonna bring these greens. It's really green in the image right now. We're trying to get an orange and teal look. So we'll just drop these down all the way. And same thing for the yellow. There's quite a lot of yellow in this image now. And then the orange, I can bring those down a little bit. Aqua, we can bring those down too. The road is kind of blue, so we'll bring that down just a tad, maybe negative 62. Uh, let's see how that's looking. That's a little before and that's after. Go down to the saturation. Actually, we'll bring it back up. You see my arm there with the sleeve? It's looking really purple and we want that to be red. So we'll bring the purple up like that. Maybe a little more. So that's kind of it. Everything's looking pretty good right now. Maybe the yellows we can saturate. Just get that line a little... The line down the middle of the road. Just make it more visible. Looks good. And then luminance looks pretty good right now. Nothing really much to do there. For the split toning, I'm going to add in some orange in the highlights. That's what I usually do. Maybe around there. And we'll bring down that saturation maybe 24. In the shadows, I put a teal color, orange and teal look, <clears throat> excuse me. Get that orange and teal look in the shadows, we'll add some teal, bring those down, and we'll just saturate that a tiny bit. Maybe around eight. Yep, that looks good. Detail, we'll bring the sharpening down to about 20. I'm also going to bring down the clarity a little bit, just because in nature photos you don't really need too much clarity. So we'll drop that, so it'll make it a little fuzzy. Make the highlights look more, I don't know, I don't know, it looks good, it looks good. So we'll do a little before and after here. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. And... Right, so we're going to do a little crop as well. Um, Instagram's crop ratio is four by five, so we're gonna click here and bring that to four by five. And then we'll also level this off a little bit with the phone. And we'll bring this up a tad, just like that. That looks good. Okay, we're getting there. And now we're gonna go down to the calibration tab. This is a really interesting tab. It kind of messes with the whole color of the image. I'm just gonna cut cut my face out of the bottom right now because my light is acting up and it's getting really annoying. Anyways, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring down the blue primary just a tad and we'll drop the saturation down here and we'll add some red primary and we'll add in some saturation there. So what that's doing is it's adding a little more orange and teal. Gets rid of like a little bit of the purple in the road there. That looks really good. Okay, and then the green primary was still looking a little green in the background there in the forest. So we'll drop that a tad. Let's see how that looks. 
that's looking a lot better actually. Okay, so that's basically the edit now. Um, but what I want to do is my sweater here looks too purple and I want that to be red. So we're going to create a mask over it. And now what we're going to do is going to re-add re -add the exposure back to normal. Maybe we'll even uh, increase that a little bit. And then we can go down to this button here, the color button. And we can add in some red. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. So now that's done. We'll just drop the saturation maybe a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good. So that's a before and that's after. So now my hand, after all that color editing, it's looking a little weird. There's a little bit of an orange splotch there. It's looking a little pale. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another mask. And we can maybe add some temperature to that just to warm it up a bit, make it look a little more normal. Um, we can increase the highlights. Make it look like it was there in the first place. Let's see what that looks like after. I'd say that's looking pretty good, but that orange splotch is still there. So we're actually gonna mask over that again. And to get rid of that, I'm just going to decrease some of the saturation a little bit. Maybe like there. And that's looking pretty good. That's basically it. Maybe we can add some vignette. I don't know, let's, let's see what that looks like. Vignette. Maybe a tad like that. And there we go, that's it you guys. There's a before and there's an after shot. So there you guys have it. That is how you edit your photos like that using Photoshop and Lightroom. I hope you guys like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I hope you guys go do this yourselves because that's kind of what the video is for. I will see you guys in the next one.